Jack Dorsey sells his original tweet for $3 million. William Shatner is selling NFTs of x-rays of his teeth. Nike has patented a method to verify sneakers' authenticity using something they call crypto kicks. And if that's not crazy enough, people are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on digital pet rocks. It sounds insane. And that's why the headlines are so attention grabbing. What is an NFT? The easiest description that I have heard is it's kind of like a watermark. So you produce a document or a presentation and you overlay a watermark to show proof of originality and ownership. The words non-fungible basically mean it is unique or one of a kind. Fungible assets are like dollar bills. One dollar bill is worth one dollar bill is worth another dollar bill. The Mona Lisa is non-fungible. There is only one original Mona Lisa. The token part represents the non-fungible items mark or record, if you will, in the blockchain. By owning the NFT, you have bragging rights of ownership to the OG. It is a weird concept to grasp in the digital space because we can all see copies, right? Like we can all go look up Jack Dorsey's original tweet. The same is true of the Mona Lisa. We can all go see the original. We could all own a copy, but only one person owns the original Mona Lisa. So who is willing to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a digital pet rock? An idiot with a lot of money. We'll call them collectors. Or an investor who is speculating that the value of the NFT will increase over time and eventually they'll sell it for more than they paid for it. Okay, fine. I'm highlighting all of the bizarre NFTs, but in our future blockchain world, how can NFTs actually be useful? It turns out there's a lot of ways. Number one, they can authenticate real products. Currently, we use intermediaries to do this for us, like a jewelry store. We would expect them to authenticate the value of a diamond. If we had an NFT associated with that diamond, we could buy directly from somebody else with the confidence that the diamond itself is authentic. Proof of identity. An NFT could be used to authenticate a person's identity. This would be extremely valuable in protecting one's identity, but also for everyday practices like voting, proof of academic credentials, and attendance at an event. An NFT would be a more sound way to protect intellectual property and patents. I may be working to trademark 401k lady, but in the future, I could use an NFT chain to track and timestamp creations of content and videos from the beginning. Number four, ticketing. Have you ever bought a ticket to a concert or a sporting event and found out at the gate that it wasn't valid? I have. An NFT would validate the actual owner of a specific of a specific seat on a specific day. And finally, to track ownership of real purchases like land and real estate. Who knows? Maybe we won't have to pay for title insurance in the future. Pet rocks and William Shatner's teeth aside, I do think there are practical ways to use NFTs, not necessarily as an asset class in investing terms, but more so as official proof of ownership and identity on the blockchain. That's it for this week. This is Jeannie, the 401k lady.